This is a quick uh, demo of the, the new custom main toolbar that we've uh, implemented. Up here, as you see up the top, uh, you've got, we've got our main toolbar, which has the uh, the standard items that you, we've had in there since day dot. Um, down below here, obviously, we've just implemented this a few weeks ago. Uh, saves you having to have the, um, the effects to the side uh, over here. Basically, this frees up a little bit of uh, horizontal space uh, by having them up here. Also, up here you can right-click and add and remove individual uh, effects. So the ones that you may never use, you can just uh, untick them and hide them. So the only select, uh, or you've only got the ones that you want up here. So what we've done is we've implemented that same sort of thing with the, the main toolbar up here. So you can right-click, add and remove. I've also added some others that some users have asked for to be put in there, which is the save and save as. So basically, you know, if you click save, as you see on the far left of the, the toolbar, it's now got the little save icon. <coughs> save as. Um, some other ones we've put in there is uh, the curve library, uh, color library, color grading, and the lip sync mapping. And basically, if you don't use the other things, you know, you can turn them off. There's a lot here that I once set, I, I never go back and change, so you can get rid of most of these off the toolbar. So now if we have a look up here, we've got um, <coughs> some more icons. So save, save as, and as you highlight it, curve library, so that'll take you into your curve library. Uh, obviously your uh, standard color library, nothing in there. Color gradient library, and then the lib sync mapping. So it's just a quick way to get into those areas and also it declutters it a bit, get rid of the ones that you don't want. Um, right click and and basically that's saved automatically so when you get back out, when you come back in it'll be uh, exactly the same as this. Thank you.